God is more in the saving business than you are. God chooses people to save. God puts somebody in your path, it's probably because he's going to use you as an agent to help them be saved because God chooses people and to teach them to know the truth that shows them how to live godly lives. This is the whole problem with Cretans. They're not living godly lives at all. It's like Zeus worship, but they got a cross over the door. It's not good. And so verse 2, this truth gives them confidence that they have eternal life, which God, oh, by the way, all you Cretans who love your Zeus gods who lie, the God who does not lie, very important that we remember if God spoke it, if God said it, if we read it in the book, it ain't a lie, it's absolute truth, take it to the bank. And the Cretans were like, we have these awesome gods who lie to us. So we don't trust them and we act just like them. And he's like, no, this God is different. This God has unimpeachable morality. This God has unimpeachable integrity. This is different than anything else you've... Okay, you made the point. God who does not lie. Promised them before the world began. And now, just at the right time, he has revealed this message, which we announced to everyone It is by the command of God our Savior that I have been entrusted with this work for him. This is a run-on sentence. He has no periods here. One big sentence, but I want to unpack it. Paul's writing to proclaim faith to those God has chosen and to teach them. And so this letter is for Christians. This letter is for all Christians. The reason it's in the Bible is because they passed it around and it helped so many Christians, so many believers in Jesus. He's writing this to teach them to know the truth. He's writing by the inspiration of the Spirit of God for us that we would know God better and understand the truth of God more clearly. He's trying to get people back on track here. It shows them how to live godly lives. So he's like, you've come to faith in Christ, but you don't know how to live it out. So here, I'm going to help you with that, he's saying. He's like, this letter and what I'm teaching you and, 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 and what I'm pointing you to will help you toward godly living and live your life in a way that glorifies God because the big problem in Crete was that they were living in a way that discredited Christ. That's troublesome. We can't live in ways that discredit Christ in our life. If we live in ways where we are causing people to wonder if there's anything to the truth that is Jesus, then we need to live our lives differently. And then he wanted them to have the kind of living, the kind of lifestyle that others would see that would cause other people to realize these folks have confidence in eternal life. Like there's something bigger here than what I have. That's what he wanted, okay? And so uh, he also wants them to know the God that you serve here doesn't lie, and your God Zeus is a liar. You can't trust him, okay? And so Paul tells us what's good and honest and trustworthy because the Cretans were not good or honest or trustworthy. And uh, he, he goes on to let us know this powerful truth that he has promised our eternal life. It's part of the faith that we have and we understand that God made us see the promises in his word through preaching. So, so folks, don't think that preaching is not important because preaching opens our hearts and minds up to the truth that Jesus lived and died for. Preaching is his chosen mechanism, and it feels weird sometimes to do it, but the Bible calls it the foolishness of preaching is used to save people who believe. So you believe in Jesus, but preaching helps you be saved. You're saved already, not yet, and preaching helps along the way, amen? And so uh, it's in his greeting, he's mentioned God's goodness, God's promises, God's plan, God's love. All of that is made real to us through the preached word of God, okay? And so that's why we keep preaching. That's why we keep reading the word. That's why we never have the idea that I have arrived and I don't need anything and I've achieved a level of Christian perfection. And so y'all just need to learn from me as I sit at home by myself. No, 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 baby. We all are learning and growing and need the accountability of a church. We need to put our ears under preaching of the word. Because when you hear the word preached in the context of the family of God, with the Holy Spirit giving it life, it changes your heart. The word of God is a, are we going to clap? One claps, everybody claps. Here we go. 
So the word of God is a faith builder. It's a heart changer. It causes you to realize God's great love. It builds you from the inside out. 